Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting a lot of comments about Snappy not working, mods not working, all kinds of just stuff. And I want to do a full clean install on this phone that I'm using right here. It's an LG Stylo 6. It's never had Snappy installed, never had Stardew Valley installed, nothing. We're going to install everything. I'm going to download a few mods, install those, and show you that it all does work if you follow my simple step. Okay, so the first and foremost step is you're going to want to make sure you have Stardew Valley purchased and installed. Last updated January 12, 2021. So you can see that that's the most recent update was January of 2021. That might be helpful later when we're looking for mods. So now what we need to do, we need to go to the web browser, Google Chrome. And we need to get Mappy Stardew Valley. It's Mappy. And the one that I always go to is this one right here, the Zane York's Mappy Android installer. And it tells you what it's compatible for and everything. So we're just going to scroll down and download this APK right here. Make sure you have third-party apps enabled and download the APK. And you can see we're downloading version 3.7.6.0. Ten. So that number is going to be important later. Mappy is downloaded. We're going to enable the third party app and then restart the installation process. So we're going to hit install, installing Smappy. All right, and we're going to hit open, confirm, confirm, allow from this source, and then hit the back arrow, allow. If you accidentally mess up on any of this and accidentally hit like don't allow or anything like that, I believe you can just re-hit the install button that's in the center of the screen here and it will run you back through those and make sure you allow all of them. It says notes game version 1.4.5.148 or later is required. The base game is required when updating slash installing Smappy version so you need the original game. Smappy has not installed yet. Press install first. So install. It'll say unpacking. So you're going to hit that install button in the middle of the screen first, not the play button that's at the bottom. It usually doesn't take very long. Yes, we want to install this application. And I know it already went through and said it was installing it, but you have to finalize all these steps to actually get it to install. Now it says it's done. If you hit open, it's probably going to Bring you to the game itself. You're going to hit allow. Okay. Okay. So it should be completely installed. So if I were to pl push that play button at the bottom, the game is going to open up and it's going to run this mappy uh, loader and everything. Here at the top of the screen, you see a couple different tabs. Like you have the install tab, there's a configuration tab. So this is where you can get rid of the virtual keyboard, you know, anything that is is added pretty much to the mods. And then there's a download side where you can download a, a compatible package for game versions, uh, Smappy for the Amazon store version of the game or the Galaxy store version of the game if you purchase Stardew Valley through either one of those instead of the Google Play Store. There's a help tab for general instructions and mod compatible websites and all kinds of stuff. So if you have any questions regarding Smappy or whatever, it's right here in the app. If you're having trouble getting it to install in the first place, you're going to have to reach out to the developer of the Smappy app that you downloaded. So wherever you downloaded it from, go to their FAQ page, go to their um, troubleshooting page that you might find an answer in there. I did not create the app. I did not create any of the things. I just use it. So I don't know how to fix things that are going on with the app itself. And here up at the top, you can see a couple of tabs. So the Nexus is usually where I go to install mods. So if you tap that link, it takes you directly to the Stardew Valley mods page. All right, so we're now on Nexus Mods. Create yourself a free account so that way you can go back and you can see exactly what you've downloaded and everything. And that really does help in the elimination process of one's mods versions that don't work. So from any page on Nexus Mods from First Stardew Valley and everything, uh, you can get to the, the menu over here on the side. If you go to Mods, and if you've already downloaded mods before or tracked any or whatever you can go to download history 
and you'll be able to see what you've previously downloaded. So I'm just going to download a couple of ones that I know work and that are just like very simple. This mod has been set to hidden for the following reasons. I now maintain the original vintage interface B1, B2 mods as well. Please want to use one of those instead. So they say use vintage interface version one and two. So let's see. So I'll just search that. See what pops up. Okay, right there. It's going to be that one. I've never downloaded this one before, but we know we're using Stardew Valley version 1.45. So we're going to view files and we're going to, let's see, needs content patcher, works with Stardew Valley 1.4. Or, okay, so this very first one right here says original upload 2019 content patcher works with Stardew Valley 1.4 in the tag. So that one should be able to be used. So the most recent one should work. So we're going to hit manual download and we're going to have to go get content patcher, which usually you need for like all of them anyway. So we're just going to slow download and they're tiny files so they take no time to download whatsoever all right it's downloading file so we can go up here and just hit content patcher viewing files this isn't okay so this one right here this little cloud with the arrow means i've downloaded it and it says this is an old version for players on android phones only other players should use the latest version so that's the one we want download. The Android version of Stardew Valley is an older version of the game. So the newest mods are not going to work for the Android version. So you're always going to get that red text when this mappy loader is trying to load it and it's going to say could not load these mods. We have a couple mods downloaded. So what we need to do now is go into the files. You can use Google files or if you have a Samsung phone you can just use your regular file folder. Most phones have just the files. So we're gonna go into downloads. Okay, we're going to select that. And we're going to copy to internal storage, scroll down. It's gonna say Stardew Valley and then mods folder. And you're just gonna copy it here. Same thing with the vintage interface, copy to. Internal storage, scroll all the way down, Stardew Valley, mods, copy here. Okay? Okay. So when you are in your internal storage mods folder, you do have to extract the files. So all I do on my phone is I tap the zip file and it lets me extract it directly into this file. So what I can do now is delete the zip file and get it out of here permanently. And now your mods folder should look like this. Each one should have its own folder. So now we're going to see if it worked. Cool, loaded five mods. No red text usually means it worked. If you see red text, odds are a mod didn't load properly and you need to find a different version. So either going older or newer, you gotta pay attention to the dates of when things were released and also their version numbers. When you're first loading a game with mods, it might take a bit. And look at that. Look, it's different. Okay. It does work. You just have to match your mods to the version of your Smappy and your game. And they will work. Some mods I have found are, like, impossible. You can't get them to work with Android. You're just going to have to move on from that. For the most part, a lot of the mods that I've tried have worked. But anyway, here we are back at the beginning screen. I hope this was helpful to everyone. And if you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Hello to all new subscribers. Hello to everyone who's been here for a while. I hope that I can bring more content to you in the future. This life has been a little crazy. <laughs> But anyway, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!